Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a hugely requested look. It was a picture that I posted on my Instagram of a very golden, sexy 70s makeup. And it's a look that I love, but it really resonated and just so many people asked me to make a tutorial, so I thought I'd make one today. Now the model in the original editorial is gorgeous with very dark olive skin and dark hair. I have a beautiful, gorgeous model today, but she is fairer with blonde hair. So I'm adapting the tone slightly away from the really brownie bronzes to more of the pinky golden bronzes. So it just demonstrates that it is a look that is quite universal and it does work on everyone. It is just about adapting the tones to suit your skin tone. Now I had a problem thinking what to call this tutorial, but I've ended up just looking at how you know, the model ended up looking and looking at the original image, which I'll post a link to actually underneath this video. And I came up with golden bombshell because I think that's exactly what it is. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with this palette here, which is a NARS one using this sort of lightish golden shade. This is almost gonna be a kind of base color really. So I'm changing to a blending brush now. I'm just gonna blend like crazy just to really diffuse that color up towards the brow. This color is gonna look so good against your blue eyes. So now I'm gonna go in with the darker chocolatey brown. I think I'll mix those two. Start with, and this is really gonna be at the outer edge. And look up for me, and also underneath just to start to get that shape. It's not really winged up, it's more of an extension. So it's almost dragging that shadow outwards. And building up slowly as well. I think that's key because if you start to put too much on in the beginning and you haven't got the right shape, then it doesn't, you know, it's so hard to take it down. So I'm just cleansing underneath Sophie's eyes. I haven't finished the eyes obviously yet, but because I've done the first little bit of color, it's just nice to get any drop down away. I'm gonna start the base now. So I'm gonna go in with base, and this is actually Sophie's own base from your makeup bag. This is your Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. And you like this because it's, you get some coverage, but it's light. When, how did you discover it? Um, I was using the original double wear, mm -hmm. but I wanted something a bit lighter with a glow. So I decided to go for double wear nude. So I'm gonna do some concealing now. I'm gonna actually use double wear as well to match your base. Start with under eyes. This is a tiny bit lighter than your foundation. And then just I'm gonna buff that one in because this one responds well to buffing. And then using the foundation brush just to blend everything in seamlessly. I'm just gonna use a touch of powder. As I say, I haven't finished concealing skin yet, so I'm just going to um, set a little bit of the under eye concealer while I finish the eye makeup. And then once the base is settled in a bit more, I'm able to go back and do more of my pinpoint concealing. So for eyes, the next thing I'd like to do is to apply some pencil. I'm gonna go for Teddy, which is such a classic, great bronze. Just look up for me, darling. I'm gonna work this into your lower lash line. And also not just inside but just on the outside as well. I'm going to put a little bit thicker at the outer edge and take my brush and just buff that in. So now I'm going to mix these two shades from a completely different palette. I'm using a damp brush and I'm going to apply it across the center of Sophie's eyelids and this will just add a lot more shimmer and shine. So now I'm using a bigger brush, a dry brush with a lighter shade from the palette, just to diffuse some light into the inner corner and bring some light to that area. So good lashage is really important to this look. I'm gonna start with the lower lashes, just really working that black mascara right down to the roots. Now, if you're not as fortunate as Sophie, you haven't got these really naturally quite thick lashes, um, then you could definitely apply some individuals or a nice feathery 
set to the top just to amplify and particularly really filling in at the top there just to get a good base to those hairs. So just moving on to brows, I'm just going to pencil a bit more definition. I don't want them too heavy but I'm just going to shape them. I'm not going to worry too much about having them identical but just filling them in. The front there, a few extra strokes and then just through the middle. And particularly just from above there as well. Then some more at the inner corner and then a very good brush. So now I'm going to do some pinpoint concealing. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. So this is a more intense coverage concealer just in the areas where we need it. And once I've finished all of this concealing, I'm going to set these areas with powder. On to contouring. I'm using the lighter shade from Kevin O'Quan just to start to create some structure in the face. So under the cheekbones, along the jawline and up into the temples. So for blush, I'm actually going to mix two shades of blush with a warmer contour powder. So I'm creating a real concoction because I want this glowing, bronzy, pinky, peachy glow from within. Now I'm adding a touch more powder just to settle everything in. When I finish this type of eyeshadow, something I really like to do is to go back in with either a bronzer or a contour powder and just take it over the edge there, blend the eyeshadow into the corner of the nose, just go over to, it just brings everything together. It helps you to blend the kind of eye into the temple. It just gives a really cohesive look. I also like to do underneath as well. Even if you've done, you know, a black eye underneath, it's just a really nice way of adding a little bit of warmth and a little bit more diffusion. So now for that extra end of the summer glow, I'm going to use quite a golden highlighter. Uh, it's a pressed highlighter and I'm going to use it just on the top of the cheekbones. A little bit into the corner of the eyes again, just for just more light in that area. And finally, just a sweep across the bridge of the nose, the centre of the nose. I love your lip shape. I'm going to maximize this top lip so you can see you've got your um the shadow of your lip is higher so i'm going to fill right up to the top of the shadow and then smile for me and then on top of that with this really kind of 70s cafe au lait shade so that's the finished look. A little bit of brow gel. You've got your Charlie's Angels hair. It's definitely a really 70s vibe going on here now. So I hope you like it and please let me know in the comments if you have any favourite products that you like to use to really stretch that summer glow into the autumn and winter months.